coming out like a straight up fanboy for this one. We got the shirt, we got the hat, and we got the glass to review this Special Reserve Blue Note Cast Finish Series Bourbon. Let's pour it up. What's up everybody, it's your boy Saucy Shane. Welcome back to another whiskey review. Boy, have we got a special one today. From VR Distilling, we got the Blue Note Special Reserve Cask Finish Series. Blue Note likes to try to trickle out these limited releases from time to time. I'm super stoked to get my hands on this one. MSRP on this bad boy is about $225. Why is it so high? If it had an age statement on it, it would be four year, I believe, is the youngest in this. We're gonna go on and pour it, let it air out. And I will pop up some cool pictures about it. It is fully transparent on everything that's in it. Mash bill and all that is on the back here. I know my poor little weed camera won't do it no justice, but everything you want to know is on the back of this thing. Like I said, I'll pop up some pictures from time to time. Awesome looking bottle. Love Blue Note. Everything they got, except I'm not a big fan of the Crossroads, which I'm not a fan of anything French oak that I'm that I'm aware of. I haven't found anything I like. But speaking of finish, this is a finished, everything in it just about is finished. And I'm gonna run down what's in it. It is bottled at 112.5 proof. I think there's like 2,100 of these bottles produced. This is bottle number 277. So on the back, like I said, it starts with, in this bottle is 17%, a 19 year Tennessee whiskey finished in cognac with a mash bill of 84, eight and eight. So we're assuming that's Dickel, 19 year old. 12% is a five year Kentucky. It's 70% 70, 70 corn, 21% rye, 9% malted barley, finished in Madeira cast. And uh, a lot of these from uh, Blue Note, they're sourced from Green River. So that's a five year. Then you got a 15% 12 year Tennessee sherry finish. And it's got a mash bill of 70 corn, 22 rye, and nine, uh, 8% malted barley. Then you got 19% 11 year Tennessee finished in port, 3% 17 year Tennessee finished in secondary American white oak, 17% four year Kentucky finished in BDN barrels, and then 17% four year Kentucky, just straight bourbon whiskey, non finished. That is a mouthful. A lot of good blends in this. I've had it a few times, you can see it down to the label there. Got to go, go kind of sparingly on this. What we're going to justify, is this worth the MSRP about $225? Nose on it, it's fantastic. I will admit I'm a huge Dickel fan, but as this bottle is opened up, it has way more balanced. You can actually pick up some of the Green River, the, I believe it's some of the weeded bourbon that's in it. It just tells you a little bit about the mash bill. It don't tell you exactly the rye, whatever the secondary grain is. This nose is beautiful. You get a well-balanced version of all these blends that's in here. You do get a little bit of the minerality of the dickel. Very, very solid. Very, very solid on the nose. The color on it, look at that nice blue note glass there. We've been honored to do three Blue Note picks at our store. The third one we did, I received this Glen Karen shirt, hat, all that good stuff. Like everything they do, except I'm just not a big fan of the Crossroads. But we're reviewing this, so let's get into this officially. A lot of soft, soft caramels, like a like a Werther's Original Chew. Good oak cherry vanilla mm, it's almost like a cherry vanilla dr pepper with a little bit of oak sprinkled in there some butterscotch toffee man it smells good but like i say around here we don't just smell it we drink it too cheers y'all mm. up front you get a little bit of that oh man there's so much going on in this. With all these different finishes, they blended it really well. It creates for a hell of an experience on the finish. Let's get this second sip, acclimate this palate a little bit more. The 
This is a cast strength whiskey coming in 112.5 proof. Wow. This very well be my whiskey of the year. It's going to battle some tough rise and some other good finished whiskeys, but I can't really put it in my bourbon category because it is finished. I kind of classify that as a finished whiskey, so. But man, is this a solid, solid pour. If you've had a chance to get this, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me let me know what you think about it. As far as the MSRP on it, I definitely, in today's market, I know everybody's tired of hearing that in today's market, but I believe it's definitely worth the price tag on it with everything you're getting. Even if you're not a Dickel fan, this is a solid, solid bourbon. Probably, definitely, you know, I would try before you could buy. I know a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars got their hands on this. Select stores in Tennessee, Kentucky got their hands on this, but a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars are going to have this on the shelf. So get yourself a pour of it, let you, you know, you, you'll be mesmerized by it. I guarantee it. We're going to give it a third sip and I'm going to rank this bad boy. Mm. The mouthfeel is exceptional on it. Front to back flavors, just like the nose, soft caramels, cherry, vanilla, Dr. Pepper, a little bit of oak, that well-aged, it's just a great blend, well-balanced. This gets a score of a 9.4 for me, one of the highest I've ever had. And like I said, 2023, this could be my whiskey of the year. But guys, thanks for watching. Like always, don't forget to smash that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell for notification. We're gonna rack these things out, boom, boom, boom. From bottle reviews, samples, all kind of stuff. Got blind challenges lined up, even some hot sauce reviews later on in the year. So stay tuned for that. If that's your thing, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notification. Guys, like always, don't forget to stay safe out there. And until next time, stay saucy. But don't get too saucy. Drink responsibly and share with friends. Cheers, y'all. Keep rocking.